It was a pair of black kites on the ground that initially caught my attention. But as I drove closer, I could see there was another raptor with them. When I realised it was a grey falcon, I tried to stay calm as I positioned myself to take advantage of the wind and light direction. It wasn't long before a second grey falcon appeared and I started to wonder what had captured their interest on the ground. I thought the likely attraction was carrion, given the two black kites had been on the ground for some time before I arrived. Contrary to some opinion, grey falcons will take carrion during tough times. But this didn't explain the grey falcon's flight behaviour, which suggested they were searching for something. There were quite a few grasshoppers this year, and this had attracted the black kites into the area in good numbers. Perhaps this is what the greys were looking for. For me, I just didn't care too much as to why they were there. I just tried to maintain my focus and compose the shot as best as I could. I filmed the birds in slow motion, which worked out well as the birds moved on quickly, once again joining up with a pair of black kites, which had repositioned themselves behind a nearby sand dune. After filming, I walked the area to try and work out what had caught the birds' attention, but I couldn't find anything other than the odd grasshopper. The rest of the day was uneventful until a pair of emus decided to run alongside my car as I drove home late in the day. With such a beautiful sunset, I decided to stop and film the birds against the amazing backdrop. I set my camera gear up on the road next to the car, half expecting the birds to run away but they were quite curious and happy to walk alongside. Filming the emus at such close quarters was the perfect end to what had been an amazing day. Mm -hmm.